Hey there, my name is Tim Stoddart. And in this video, I am going to show you how to create a profitable business directory in under 20 minutes. This is a very exciting video. Me and my partner, Chase, shout out to Chase. I'll put his picture right here. Uh, check out his website as well. Uh, we've been building this platform called Directorly. And with this platform, it's going to allow you to create business directory businesses, create an online business using a business directory in under 20 minutes. This is one of the coolest things I've ever done. I'm so excited to show you, so let's dive right in. Here's the product, directorly.app. It is so cool. If you want to see a quick instructional video, you can watch this video on the homepage. I encourage you to sign up right here to get early access. We're gonna be beta launching it this week, but it's fully functional. We're just gonna beta launch it to get some feedback and it should be live within a week of you watching this video. So when you create your account, this is what you get. So Directorly is basically access to our custom directory specialized AI agent. So you can talk to the agent right here through this prompt. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is describe your first directory. So I'm gonna say, I am creating a stem cell clinic directory. Let's start with um, Sioux San Francisco. I'm sure there's a bunch of San Francisco. I'm sure there's a bunch of like healthcare specialists out there. So when you create this, it's going to give you a bunch of different options. And depending on what kind of directory you're building, you may or may not want to take a, uh, advantage of these options. So stem cell clinics are very, very straightforward. And so in my case, it doesn't make sense for me to use some of these options because the purpose of my directory is actually to be very specific. And you'll see what, what that means in a second. Okay, so you know, it gave me a title, San Francisco Stem Cell Clinic is ready. Click build my directory and it'll, it'll take a second. So now that we have a prompt, we have a couple options. Congratulations on creating your San Francisco Stem Cell Clinic directory. I'm here to populate. And it's giving me some enhancement options, right? Stem Cell Clinics, Medical Laboratories, health and wellness centers in San Francisco, Oakland, and Berkeley. I am not going to take advantage of all of those, but in most cases, you will. So I'll show you what it means if I click Enhance Directory. You got these two buttons right here, Enhance Directory and Submit Query. And so let's just imagine you're creating a location-based directory where I live in Denver, right? And I'm, I'm making a business directory in Denver. Well, it's going to give me a lot of different business types and it's gonna give me a lot of different locations so that I can split my directory up to like one master Denver category, but I can also create uh, SEO categories for different towns. You know, and so in this case, it's gonna give me a bunch of different suggestions. The directories, every directory is basically one of two things, business types or locations. And if I wanted to, I could add these locations right here and I could add these business types. Like I said, in my case, I'm not going to do that. And so I have my specifications right here. I'm going to exit out of the medical laboratories. I'm gonna exit out of the health and wellness centers. I'm gonna exit out of Oakland and I'm gonna exit out of Berkeley. And so granted, at any given time, this is an agent, this is an AI agent. So I can come back here, I can add more, I can add more categories, I can add more locations, like I can do whatever I want. This is an interactive tool. So it's not as though you need to map out the whole thing once in the very beginning and then submit it. So at this point, I am going to submit my query of these specifications right here. So a directory build started, job submitted successfully, business types, stem cell clinics, locations, San Francisco, California. Remember, these are the specifications. So all of this is just a conversation that you're having with the agent. But when you submit the query, you're doing so with these specifications. So this is gonna take a little bit. Um, the more data, the longer it's going to take. Right now, you can see I have 15 listings, one business type, one location. But while this is happening in the background, I'm going to show you how to connect directly to your actual website so that you can submit the listings live on the internet. The next thing that you want to do is click this button right up here on the top right where it says connections. As of right now, we only have one integration, and that is with the business directory plugin. It's quite literally what it's called. If you go to businessdirectoryplugin.com, you'll see the product itself, but it's it's a WordPress plugin. There's gonna be a lot more integrations. You just gotta give us time. Obviously we have to create these one at a time. And so right now I'm gonna click connect. Right here is my boilerplate website. 
I have it on staging. I use WP Engine, so I'm on a WP Engine staging site. And I even have a sample page right here where my directory is going to be. This is essentially the home page of the directory. And if I go back here, I just need to follow a couple really simple steps. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my URL. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to click validate. So I put my, U my WordPress URL in here and I clicked validate. But what happened? I need to download the directory plugin. So there's an installation guide right here if you want to read it, but it's a super simple process. You just click download plugin and then it's going to download the zip file for me. So I'm going to come to my WordPress. I'm going to go to this plugin section. I'm going to click add plugin. And in this case, I have the plugin already downloaded, so I just need to upload it. So I'm going to click this upload plugin button, choose file, my zip file, install now. I downloaded the plugin, so I'm going to click here and I'm going to activate it. Great, so now I have directory activated, but look at what happened here. I have this error up here. Directory WordPress business directory plugin integration. This plugin requires the WordPress business directory plugin to be installed and activated. Great, so no problem. You can just copy this right here, business directory plugin. And then we don't need to download the zip files because we're already in the back end of WordPress. So we can just click add plugin and in search plugins, just go right here for the keyword. And it's this one, it's got this cool little penguin looking guy with the glasses. So you're just gonna click install now installed and now we're going to click activate so you can see right here that my directory functionality is already in the website in my wordpress so i have director lee activated and i have the business directory plugin activated and this is where director lee is going to import all of my information it's going to be in listings categories right here i've only created one category if you remember it's just san francisco that's all i'm doing right now and then tags, if you wanted to categorize even further, you can do tags as locations or as business types. That all makes sense in a little bit once we get a little bit further. Now, once you've added your two plugins, you come back to this window, you click validate, and you can see we're ready to go. WordPress site validated successfully. It sees the directory plugin and it sees the WordPress business directory plugin. Now we're gonna continue. Now this part, we have to create an application password. This is basically where we're connecting directly to WordPress. It's not the same as your WP admin. So understand that, but it's, it's still a very, very simple process. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your WordPress website. You're gonna click users, and then you're gonna find the main user. So here I am right here, timmitquantumleads.com, excuse me, click edit. We have the email address set up. Um, so you go back here and you put in the email address and then your application password, it's basically like an API password. You're going to come down here, new application password name. So I'm going to go into just name it directly, add application password. And then right here, here is your password, right? So I'm going to copy this, update the profile so that WordPress sees your new password. And I'm going to come back to directly create the application password, test it, and everything is connected. Authentication successful, you can now create the connection. I'm gonna click next. So this part is important because it is going to determine how your site is categorized. Right here, your business types mapping, your business types are gonna be tags because in my directory, my categories are my locations, right? There's only one business type for now. As I create more and more um, types of businesses that are added, you know, maybe there's something like a, um, PRP, it's it's pas plasma replacement therapy. That might be something I want to add in there. But as of right now, the there's only one business type, which is stem cell clinics, and there's multiple categories, which is locations. And so the locations mapping is the WordPress categories. Now I'm going to create my connection. There. I am done. I have synced directly to my stem cell authority website. So now I can exit out of this and I'm all good. So if we go here and we see listings, this is basically a preview of all of the stem cell clinics in San Francisco. So if you wanted to, you could click live preview to see what it looks like. These are the categories and 
right now, I'm just going to click sync listings. So this is going to take some time because as of right now, Directorly is pushing my listings into the actual website. So I'll pause here for a second just to give it some time. And we can see that my listings have all been synced and I've used one query. So we can go back here to my plugin. You can see that all of my listings are in here and they're all categorized under San Francisco. So if I go back to that homepage that I told you about, you can see that I'm going to have one category, San Francisco. So let's create some more categories just to show you how easy and robust this is. So I'm going to come back up here, say, okay, let's create another category for San Diego. Enter. So what should happen, start building a new category. Would you like to focus on the same business type? So yes. Same business type. So what's happening is it's updating my specifications. So I still have the one business type, which is stem cell clinic. And now I've added a new location, which is San Diego. So we're going to submit the query. And now it's going to start finding these listings. So once again, this is going to take a minute or two. Selecting new listings and refreshing current ones. By the way, if you want to keep track of your queries, because depending on what access level you purchase, you get a certain number of queries a month. So if you want to keep track of your queries, you can click that button right up there. And it is searching right now, it is processing this untitled query. So this is the San Diego query. Now you can see that this query has been submitted. We now have 65 total listings. So now all I have to do is sync. Once again, this is going to take some time because the connection is now pushing these new listings into my WordPress site for the business type stem cell clinics and the locations of San Francisco and San Diego. Here we go. So I just got my prompts, location, San Francisco, Cali, and San Diego, Cali. So if I come back here to my directory, I will now have 65 total listings. And if I go back to my directory homepage, I now have an entire new category of San Diego. I can come back in here. I can look at all of the listings. <laughs> it's so cool. I have all the data in here that I need. In this case, it looks like I'll need to fix the feature and image. I can go back to this one. I have all the data in here. It looks like I need to fix the featured image in here as well. That's, that's a bug that we have to clean up. So by the time you see this, that bug will all be cleaned up, but I am, I am building my directory one city at a time. And within a week, I'm going to have almost all of the major cities categorized by state and I'll have the best stem cell clinic directory in the world. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sure many of you are going to have questions in terms of the functionality. I encourage you just to interact with Directorly. Just talk to it like it's your friend and make sure that you have your categorizations, your categories and your tags organized so that when you do submit your queries, it all populates exactly how it's supposed to. But this is going to be a groundbreaking tool, both for my company, because I love to build directories, but also for you, because I've gotten so many inquiries from people asking about how to build profitable, profitable directories, and we've made it so easy for you. So now it's just up to you to execute on this, to, to make some sales and to create a business out of it. Great. Leave comments, ask any questions, make sure you smash that subscribe button, and we'll talk to you next week.